Hello once again and welcome to Webology Learn for Good. This is Akash Vishwas and let's get started with basic computer hardware tutorial 4. So in this tutorial we are going to look at a laptop motherboard and how it works. So let's get started. So here it is. This is a laptop motherboard and uh, it's similar to a desktop motherboard just the size is smaller so uh, if you actually compare with this uh, desktop motherboard this jumbo desktop motherboard it's fairly similar you know it has uh, the same components so these two are the ram slots here also you have the ram slot as you can see okay let's turn this easier and then uh, this is a CMOS battery and here also you have a CMOS battery and uh, here is where the CPU comes and on top of, top of the CPU you will have the CPU fan and this is a heat sink sucks out your hot air and puts it out and uh, here also this is a CPU socket where you install the CPU and on top of that you will have a fan. So I just keep this aside, this video is not actually about comparing a laptop motherboard with a desktop motherboard but I just wanted to show you that they are very similar, just the size is different. So uh, as I said, uh, these two are the RAM slots and uh, the size of the RAM compared to a uh, desktop RAM is very small. So this is the size of the RAM. And while installing a RAM, you have to place the RAM facing downward and just to side clips and to make them slide. Okay. And uh, not all uh, laptops you can upgrade the amount of RAM. So this uh, laptop came with a 4 gig, 4 GB RAM, but it also has a second slot, and I can upgrade to as much uh, as a specified uh, amount of maximum RAM memory this can hold so to be very sure about how much the maximum amount of RAM uh, motherboard can hold can uh, have okay and uh, it all depends on the type of the processor so this is a i3 processor the so Intel based motherboard and which are quite different from an AMD motherboard so it depends on the type of the processor and this as i said is a cmos battery now i won't go into detail also cmos battery and how it works uh, i've done that in the first video basic computer hardware tutorial one and if you haven't seen that i suggest you to have a look at that you can find the link in the description below of all the previous three videos the first video i talk about a, a motherboard a desktop motherboard and uh, the second video I talk about uh, hard disk and the third I talk about uh, keyboards and this is the fourth video on motherboards or uh, laptop motherboard okay so having said that uh, here as I told you the CPU comes and I install on the uh, laptop so there's a uh, there's below this there's a surface a uh, plastic sheet and on top of that the CPU is placed and the CPU and uh, there's a fan and uh, the fan is very small again compared to a desktop fan uh, which sucks out the hot air and uh, throws it out from here so this you'll see this uh, from the outer of your laptop so this will be close to the power plug okay of your laptop let's see this okay and here this is where it sucks out the hot air And this, as I told you, is a heat sink. Okay, so let's have a look at the connectors of a laptop. So let's start with this. This is a USB 3 uh, port. So this is the blue one, which is a USB 3 port. And then this is a USB 2 port. Okay, which is a standard USB 2. This is the HDMI port. Okay, which is the latest. Uh, versions of uh, VGA connectors so if you want to connect to your uh, say 
projector or another monitor if you have a VGA cable I mean sorry HDMI cable you can convert that because uh, it's much better quality of videos and the, it's faster um, transfer of data okay. and this is a LAN connector so if you have a DSL modem and it's an Ethernet cable that uh, will come and be connected over here that cable will be connected over here so this then uh, this is a VGA connector and see my first video where I talk about the VGA connector so this is a 3 row 15 pin DIN connector okay and so this is the dust exhaust okay and if I turn this around you can see these two slots but just by looking at them you can't really make out what they are uh, if you see on the right side it will be mostly on the right side the laptop near the say the CD drive you will uh, see a uh, two slot one for one USB so this is USB 2 for the USB 2 connector and this is for the card reader okay you will see two slots uh, side by side so again it depends on the type of uh, the laptop because uh, there are various size of laptops and not all laptops will have uh, so many types of connectors so this is a 15 0.6 inch uh, laptop where it has the maximum amount of connectors you can have because that's the biggest size I think all this 17 inch as well but yeah this is a standard size and also there's this power cable where the power comes and there are different types of uh, power types so this is a round one this is a squarish one but it depends on the manufacturer type say if you have a Dell laptop it will be different than an HP or a Lenovo or an Asus um, etc so uh, that's it for this uh, video on uh, laptop motherboard hope you guys have uh, enjoyed watching it and uh, make sure to like or dislike whatever you want comment if you have any queries on how they work or what is it that I can do to really improve or what is it that you want to know about more about in computer hardware and make sure to subscribe hit that subscribe button because if you subscribe then you can be updated uh, you get a notification when I upload my next video so you can watch that and do share with your friends and that's it thank you